hello guys and then welcome to another tutorial video okay so this video will be um a soft um example based video okay so we are trying to solve um an example on delta star another example on delta star transformations okay so in case you are new here kindly subscribe hit on the bell icon like share and comment your thoughts in the comment section below okay so let's just dive right into this video okay so in case you've been given a certain example like this and then you are told to find the equivalent resistance okay so all you have to do is that you sum up the resistance which are in what series and parallel but from this example you could notice that we have a series of um, resistors okay arranged in a scattered form okay so we are to decipher and then identify which ones are in series parallel and whatnot okay so from here from this y we could notice that from here to here okay on this point to this point you could notice that this is not a connected y okay this is an over y okay what i mean by an over y is that this y okay is not connected to this one okay so it's connected overboard okay this point is not connected to this y okay this one is not connected to this one so it's an overboard y okay so from that you could notice that the same current will pass through 100 ohms and then 220 ohms so we have 100 okay plus 220 giving us what they are in series okay giving us 320 what ohms now so from here you can notice that this is what 320 ohms right now so we have something like this okay something like this and then something like this okay something like that and then something like this so we have what we have 320 okay we have 320 ohms and we have what 220 ohms we have 400 ohms okay and then we have 400 ohms right and then we have at the top we have what 600 ohms right so now we could notice that we cannot identify any resistor which is directly in parallel or what series so we will just employ the um delta and star transformation okay so from here we have we have to transform this what this is in both delta okay this is delta okay delta okay delta this delta and this another delta um transformation okay so we have to convert these both into what star okay so let's say this a okay and this b so we are transforming a and b both to star okay so this is how it will be transferred you have this okay okay right and then we have what this let me draw it very well okay we have this format okay okay and then we have that okay and then it's okay right and then we have our what the next one to be what this way okay yes so this is what i mean so we have this then this okay then we have this point to be here okay and then we have this okay this point and then we have this point to be this side okay so we have what this star arrangement now let's convert this into what star delta into star and then we know our general formula okay to be what 
that's converting delta into star so we have what for 400 we have 400 okay uh, 400 multiplying what 300 okay divided by that's we want the one over here so we have using 400 and the what 320 rather okay so we have 400 and 320 okay of 320 okay and then we sum up the rest okay so we have 400 okay plus 320 okay plus 400 right and this one will give us what 800 on what 800 on 7 okay ohms okay so that's what for let's name this as uh, what maybe r e okay r e okay and then we have what um here to be what 800 okay 800 on what 7 okay 800 on 7 okay and then let's look at uh, maybe rp okay rp okay rp is this one okay so it's similar to the re okay so we have what 800 on what 7 because it's 400 on what 320 just like this one which is 400 on 320 on 320 so we have what 800 on what 7 ohms on 7 ohms okay and then we have what rc let's say this rc okay with 400 and then 400 is rc okay so we have what 400 multiply by 400 okay divided by what 400 plus 400 okay plus what 320 okay right so this will give us what this thousand okay thousand point seven ohms right okay so I have thousand on seven ohm means that this is what our thousand on seven ohm right so let's do the same for the b okay so we have what rb okay rb okay is equal to the b part so we have rb okay to be equal to what uh 600 on and then what 320 okay so we have what 600 multiply by what 320 of what 600 plus 320 plus our 220 okay 220 okay and this will give us what 600 and 320 yes so this one give us 3200 right divided by what 19 okay ohms okay so we have what 3200 divided by what 19 ohms now let's move on to rb um, let's say we have what um, this point okay so let's move on to 220 and what 320 okay let's say we have what um, let's say this rb1 this is the prime okay so let's represent that by rb1 we have rb2 okay don't bother about the um, the representation we are trying to get these resistors okay so we have what we have 220 and then what 320 right so we have 220 multiply by what 320 okay divided by 220 
plus 3, 20, plus what? 600, okay? 600. And this will give us what? This is 3, 5, 2, 0, divided by what? 57 ohm, okay? About 3, 5, 2, 0, okay? On 57 ohms, okay? So let's find that for this point, okay? So we have 220 and then what? 600, okay? So we have maybe R, B, 3, okay? Let's go to what? 220 by what? 600, okay? Divided by 220 plus 600, okay? Plus our what? 320, okay? This one. Okay, so we have 320, okay? 320, and this will give us what? And we have what? Um, 2200, zero, zero. okay? On what? 19 ohms, okay? 2200 zero, zero, on 19 ohms, okay? So we have what? Here to be two two zero zero on nineteen ohms. Now check this one out. We could notice that this one, okay, this one and this one are in what series, okay? So we have eight hundred, okay. Of 800 okay on 7 okay plus 2 3 2 0 0 okay on what 19 okay and that will give us what let's say this 2 8 3 ohms okay and then this one okay is also in series with this one okay so we have this and this and this one are in what series when you add them you get what 176 ohms now let's further simplify the circuit into this form okay so we have this right so from here after further simplification we will end up with this circuit okay now from here you know that this is in what parallel okay so we have what two eight three in parallel with what one seven six okay so when you do the calculation okay we have what this on what two eight three plus what one seven six okay so this one will give us what one zero eight okay point Five ohms. Okay, now so from here we could notice that. So from here we could notice that um, the entire of this one will be in what series? Okay, so this will be converted to this and that. This okay. So this form will be this one. Okay, and that's it over here. Okay, so let's add this this and then what this okay they are all in series so once you add them up okay once you add them up you end up with what this okay on seven plus what one zero eight point what five plus that okay so you have two two zero zero on what 19 okay 19 okay on 19
18 again so we have what when you sum all this up you end up with what three six seven ohms okay yes so these are final lines okay that's the total or effective resistance in the entire circuit okay in this circuit right so i hope you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe like comment and share okay in case you have any other questions you could let me know in the comment section below okay see you in the next one bye bye